All right, Piers, our top story is what's going on between the TMC and the Congress. Is it just mere sniping, political posturing, or is there more serious when it comes down to the difference between Bamta Banerjee's TMC and the Congress, both part right now of the India bloc? Mamta Banerjee has batted for the idea of regional leaders spearheading the fight against the BJP in specific regions. Even as some allies see red overseas sharing, Mamta suggested that Congress independently can contest 300 Lok Sabha seats. Mamta also said that the TMC is prepared to independently contest 42 Lok Sabha seats in Bengal if not given its due importance. She accused the left of controlling the opposition's groupings agenda, underscoring that no one confronts the BJP as directly as she does. And the Congress needs to also somewhere down the line understand if it wants to do business with the TMC or with the left. On the other hand, Adiranjan Chaudhary from the Congress took on Mamta Banerjee and called her an opportunist. However, Rahul Gandhi tried to step in today at a press conference during his Nyayatra to temper down. Uh, you know, what is seeming as uh, an escalation of a standoff between the Congress and the TMC. He said, all was well between the Congress and the TMC. And sometimes, kuch log hamare yaan se bolte hain, kuch log udhar se bolte hain, to thoda, it gets a little escalated. But ultimately, the TMC and the Congress are united in seat sharing and they will reach an agreement soon. Meanwhile, in midst of reports of Nitish taking part in Nyaya Yatra, JDU has rejected Congress claims of Nitish Kumar attending the Yatra. When we have a meeting of India, we have given the name of India. But I have a shock to say that we go to the meeting, we see that we control the meeting of the CBM. जिसको साथ चौथी साल हमारा जिंदगी में लड़ाई किया हमने हम उसको कोई एडवाइस नहीं मानेंगे हमको बहुत असम्मान मिलते हैं लेकिन तब भी जितना लीडर है रीजनल पार्टी को मैंने क्या बोला रीजनल पार्टी को इलेक्शन रीजनल पार्टी को ऊपर छोड़ दो जो रीजनल पार्टी स्ट्रांग है और 300 सौ सीट में आप अकेला लड़ो हम मदद कर देगा हम आपका कोई सीट में हम नहीं लड़ेंगे वो लोग क्या कहते हैं हमको जो मर्जी हो हम करेंगे एक बात याद रखना बीजेपी को मदद मत करो बीजेपी का अगर तुम लोग मदद करोगे कोई तो अल्लाह का कसम आप लोगों को कोई माफी नहीं करेगा हम तो माफी नहीं करेंगे और ममता बनर्जी की दया से हम लोग नहीं चुनाव लड़ेंगे और लड़ने के नहीं चाहते कांग्रेस पार्टी अपनी ताकत पर चुनाव लड़ना जानते हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी की दया से और मदद से 2011 साल में ममता बनर्जी खुद सत्य पे आई थी ये बात मान के चलिए ममता बनर्जी एक अवसरवादी नेत्री की नाम है एजेंडा 2024 का बिहार की नीतीश सरकार ने तय कर दिया है कोई पार्टी है देश में जो आज जातिगत आरक्षण का विरोध कर रही हो कोई पार्टी ऐसी है जिसने जातिगत जनगणना का विरोध किया हो तीन मंत्री हैं केंद्र सरकार में सहयोगी पार्टियों के पशुपतिनाथ पारस अनुप्रिया पटेल और अठावले रामदास तीनों को तीनों कह रहे हैं जातिगत जनगणना होनी चाहिए तो ये बिहार सरकार ने नीतीश कुमार ने एजेंडा तय कर दिया 2024 के लिए और ये एजेंडा तय किया हुआ करपुरी ठाकुर जी का है जो हमारा सीट नेगोशिएशन है वो चल रहा है उसका रिजल्ट आएगा कंक्लूजन आएगा उसके बारे में मैं यहाँ कमेंट नहीं करना चाहता हूँ बट हमारा ममता जी के साथ मेरा पर्सनल और पार्टी का बहुत अच्छा रिश्ता है हाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा होता रहता है कभी कोई उनका कोई बोल देता है हमारा कोई बोल देता है दिज आर नेचुरल थिंग्स दिज आर नॉट थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब एनी बंगाल में ममता दीदी ने जो बातें कही है ये सारी चीजें अपने अपने तरीके से हर दल के नेता कर रहे हैं लेकिन अंतिम फैसला जब इंडिया गठबंधन की बैठक होगी उसमें लिया जाएगा और जो बेहतर विकल्प होगा वो अंतिम फैसला होगा उस पर मोहर लगेगा तो ममता दीदी जो बातें कह रही है बंगाल में वो किस तरह से 
भाजपा का सफाया हो इसको लेकर चिंतित है All right, let's cut across to Shikha Mukherjee, political commentator, joins us uh, from Kolkata, West Bengal, to get a larger understanding on what really is going on between the TMC camp. Ms. Mukherjee, you know, till now, it seemed like uh, harmless sniping at each other or political posturing of sorts now seemingly taking at least a turn which uh, is bigger than just that. Is there a possibility that Mamta Banerjee might not be a part of the India Alliance anymore or till now this is primarily plain posturing well you know there are two things here i think there is more more than plain posturing here <clears throat> and for a very good reason mamta banerjee has has to get started on on her campaign which she's already started of course with her uh, january 22nd rally but having said that mamta banerjee needs to get on with the job of winning more seats in west bengal she she does not have uh, in 2019 she got less seats she does not want the bjp to get 18 seats in west bengal in 2024 and she has to work for it so she has to get that started with the congress making claims and the congress not getting its act together uh in terms of seat seat sharing and this is a problem with the congress i mean mamta banerjee had laid down a deadline if you recall uh that by the end of end of last year that is 2023 the seat sharing issue should be out of the way and they they should get down to hard campaigning that has not happened uh the congress in west bengal is making claims adhir ranjan choudhury and mamta banerjee will never see eye to eye of that there is no doubt the congress knows it she knows it therefore what is the what is the issue if for mamta banerjee at this point in time yes she is a leader of the india alliance she will continue to be a leader of the india alliance as far as i can make out um, as she herself said in in the clip that you put out that i i named it india alliance fair enough having said that i think mamta banerjee needs to ensure that her her um her, her the, the number of seats she gets in west bengal increases and the uh -huh. bjp is bjp wins as few as possible in right. terms of right. the congress she knows that the congress will win one to two seats one seat for sure another seat maybe and that's where the matter ends i do not think that mamta banerjee has any design as of now beyond ensuring that her turf is safe she has complete dominance over it and that as and when the india alliance gets its act together she is part of it. Okay, uh, you know, Miss Mukherjee, just one quick question before we let, let you go. There seems to be also, uh, where from Mamta Banerjee's side, a clear warning to the Congress that decide who you need to do business with. Is it the left or us in TMC? Well, that you know, she has she has been uh, anti-left, as she very categorically says, because she's for thirty-four years she battled the left, right, and that 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 is that is visceral. her dis, her her hostility her antagonism her enmity to the left is visceral there is no doubt about it and the congress uh, and the india alliance is not going to be able to change that mm -hmm. at all um, her, her her position is very clear this is the, this is the party i defeated this is the party against which i fought so this is this is the party which shall remain my permanent enemy forever all right appreciate you joining us ms bukherji uh, thank you there for that uh, quick thank you. small short input but uh, we are going to keep a keen eye on all developments that are taking place uh, in the state of west bengal and now it does seem things are getting a little beyond just posturing our uh, political sniping a little more serious